Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr. And on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. Today, we are going to use this palette from ColourPop. It's called Big Leo Energy. It's part of their, um, what is the name of that series? I don't remember the actual name, but it's like the astrology series. So they did a palette for each of the constellations. And then this is what the palette looks like. It's one of their little Lucite quads. I love these palettes. I have a gazillion of them. I've given quite a few of them away as well, but these are perfect. <laughs> the formula tends to be really, really consistent between them. And I've really only had a couple of duds. Are we crooked? Are we crooked? Can we just, can we, are we, cro are we crooked, you guys? Come on, help me out here. I can't tell. I don't think we are. I think we're good. I think it's me. I think it's me. <laughs> Anyways, typically these palettes come with two mattes and a shimmer, and this one is no different. So let's get into it. I normally use the two mattes first, so I do my makeup in a gradient where it's lightest on the inside, darkest on the outside. So we're going to go with the two mattes, and then we'll do the shimmers on top of those. So let's see. First things first, let's prime the lid. We're going to use this Essence Prime Like a Boss eyeshadow primer. I absolutely love this eyeshadow primer. It's fantastic. It's high quality. It's a really great price point. I mean, it's like less than, what, $4 or two or less than $3 or two. And it works beautifully. It keeps my shadow from creasing and budging all day long. When you first do use it, though, don't freak out because it does feel oily, but it will quickly dry down to a nice tacky base and it will hold on to your shadow all day, all day. I'm also going to go in with this other primer that I'm really loving. I was watching Nana's channel and she swears by this stuff. It's the Elf Cookies and Dreams. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I would like it because it's kind of like, here, can you see that? It's one of those kind of putty like primers, but I do like it. However, if you buy it, like that's even probably too much. A little bit of this stuff goes a long ways, a long ways. So if you think about it, it kind of has the consistency of the Fenty Pro Filter Primer if it were a solid. That's what it feels like. So when you first put it on, it feels quite, uh, it's thick, but it also feels very moisturizing. I don't know how else to describe that. As usual, my face was already clean and moisturize and all my treatments are on and all that other fun stuff so always starting off with a clean face okay we're gonna work quickly here because I'm running a smidge late this morning really work that in there oh, it's allergy season too you guys so keep that in mind all right so for my eyes really quick I'm gonna try something a little 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 different because I normally just like do my eyes first, but I'm actually going to pop on this concealer so I can let it sit there for a minute and um, see if we can get this to firm up a little and see if that hack that I've learned about is supposed to actually stop the creasing. I think lately, really, I've just been putting it on and working it in rather than letting it sit for a minute. So we're going to let that sit there. And I may regret this. I may immediately regret this because I might have fallout from the shadow, but I'm just going off of the experience here and I'm hoping that's not the case. We're going to start off with the flat brush and we're going to go in with that lighter color at the bottom. All these colors are actually labeled. So this one is Charisma, Warm Hearted, Center Stage, A Star is Born. So we're going to begin with that lighter brown. And yes, there is a little bit of fallout going to tap my brush and we're just going to pack that onto the lid. I think really there's probably fallout because the brush that I'm using is relatively stiff. So I wouldn't even say that it's because of the product. I would just say it's because of technique and tool at this point. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not reaching for another brush because I'm already committed. So this is kind of a burnt orange color on my lid if you can see that and I think it's 
pretty similar to what's in the pan. But, you know, because my skin is a lovely shade of brown, you're always going to have that influence as well. And we are here for it. Just packing that onto the lid. I'm not actually blending anything in. I'm just building up that color. Just like that. I think these kind of colors work well with my tone. I just have to be a little bit careful. I think orange is good as long as it doesn't have too much yellow in it. I need the kind of orange that has a little more red in it. You know what I mean? There we go. We're just building this up a little bit here, taking it up to the crease. So we have a little bit of room to play with, and we'll blend that out later. All right. Okay, so that's that first color. And then I'm going to go and grab another brush, like I said I wasn't going to do. And let's see. Let's grab this one. Same verse. The second verse. Same as the first. A little bit louder and a little bit worse. <laughs> we're going in with that darker color. And we're going to take that to the outer corner. Just like that. Feel a real 70s vibe here, you guys. Feeling real, real 70s up in here with the orange and the brown. I like it. I'm a 70s baby. It's worth it to me. We're doing it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with this palette today, though, because I was like, uh, I don't know about this. But now we're committed. We're doing it. We're here. We're going to make the best of it. We're going to love it. I'm going to take those lemons and make that lemonade. Okay? It's not bad. I like it. I just wasn't anticipating doing like a smoky look today, but here we are. So we're going to see if we can brighten it up with some of this uh, sparkle and glitter here. I'm going to take this NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to pop that on my lid. Normally I take the same brush to do that, but today we're actually going to take a different brush because I really want to make sure I'm keeping the transition between these two shades as separated as possible. This is my favorite glitter primer. It is so, so tacky. When you put this on, can you see it's like already lifting up my lid? This stuff is super tacky. It might as well be glue. You know how it feels when you put Elmer's glue on your fingers and then it's like really tacky? That's what it feels like. It's not uncomfortable though. It's just very, very much going to do what it says it's going to do. And it's going to hold on to whatever you put on top of it. So <laughs> love it. If you guys are looking for a glitter primer, I, I definitely suggest the NYX. That's the way to go. Okay, so now let's uh, go in with that same brush. We're going to flip it over and use the other side. And we're going to start off with this. I'm going to start off with this pink. Because I think I want to use the, actually, other way around. We're going to do the gold. We'll do that gold color first. I'm just going to press that in right there, right there in the center. And that's going to marry those colors together. Plus, I think the gold probably just works better with those two. And then same thing for this side. Wow, that is, that is gold. <laughs> like... That is gold, gold. I'm not mad though. I do like it. And then we're going to take that other brighter pink color and we're going to put that right here. Yeah, that was the way to go. That was the right thing to do. I was a little bit concerned at first. I just wasn't sure. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. In the end, I feel like those two colors really look the same, but I'm not mad. It's bright and cheery for a nice bright Seattle day. The weather is finally changing, thank goodness. It has been the world's longest winter, you guys. I'm telling you. So I don't think you can really tell the difference between the two colors, but that's fine. Either way, it looks bright, and that's really what I was going for. And I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm not seeing fallout. Okay, so 
that's it for this little palette. I like it. I love these palettes. That whole series is fantastic. All those quads from the various series that they have going. I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. Just a little. So we don't have such a harsh line there at the top. And we're going to do the same for the side. Blend it out a little bit. And then we'll see if uh, I made a major mistake with this concealer or if it was absolutely genius. We'll find out here in a second. Um, let's grab a blender. I have one right here. And let's pat that in. There we go. I'm going to say I probably see about the same amount of creasing as I normally do, but it looks better. It's like a, a nicer looking creasing. <laughs> Can, is that a thing? Can I say that? A nicer looking creasing? I feel like I can say that and get away with it. So that's what we're going to say. No one's going to know. It'll be between us. Yeah, I do like that. So yeah, I think the goal here is when I'm putting on my concealer, I should just let it sit for a minute. Just like all the girlies say, all the YouTube gang. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's not bad, it's good. I'm going to, I'm not using any other product here. I'm not using any um, foundation or anything because it's toasty today and I don't want to sweat that off. All right, so we're going to take this powder. It's from Black Radiance. It is the soft focus powder in that giant container. This one is in Golden Almond and I'm taking that little sponge that I got, that whole package from um, Amazon and I'm just going to Press that in to set that concealer. I'm literally just pressing. You don't need a lot, just a little. I feel like this disc is going to last me forever. It won't, but I feel that way. <laughs> we'll press a little bit here too. And just a little bit here as well. Why not? Just to give it that nice sort of seamless finish. There we go. Not too much. Yeah, it's good. Um, not the best, not the worst, just in between. I have a blush here. Actually, it's called Blanzer. It's from Bare Minerals. I've been using this too. It's called Kiss of Rose, and it's supposed to be a combination of bronzer and blush. I think that's why they call it a Blanzer have a little brush here. Actually, let's get a different brush because I've been using this one a lot and I have the feeling that all of my blushes are still on that. So let's grab the new one. How about this one? This is the one that's nearest. I'm going to take this one. It's an angled one. And we're going to dip that in there just a little. It doesn't pick up too much product. Nope. Does it though? But does it though? I think it picks up enough. I do like to come just under my eyes. I like that look. And I like to bring it up a little because it feels good. It's that nice ethereal look. Same thing with this side. Just underneath my eyes. I always feel like when I diffuse my blush like this, it just looks better. It gives more of a flushed look than a blushed look. <laughs> I don't know why that was hard for me to say. No idea. Um, that's probably enough. Um, for my setting spray. Hold on, you guys. Give me a second here. I don't know what happened, but like a bunch of stuff just fell. And I normally have everything piled in here in a specific way. So that's better. 
All right, so for my setting spray, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. You guys are familiar with this. You've seen this on 100,000 channels, I'm sure. Whew. Yes. If you have a sensitivity to alcohol, that might be a really good spray for you to try out because it's pretty lightweight in terms of how it smells. And then you just kind of let it dry up. Okay, so while we're letting that dry, we're going to grab a pencil. This is Demolition from Urban Decay. It's one of my favorite brown pencils. This one's almost finished, so I'll have to start using my NYX pencils, which I also love a lot. We're just going to line that upper lash line. There we go. And then if you're new to my channel, I always mention this, but I don't line my lower lash line because I feel like when I do that, it ages me. So I just line the upper lash line. Very seldom, I should say, do I line the lower lash line. It's not a thing that I do. It's not my thing. Okay, so we are going to grab one more flat pencil. We're going to grab our little palette again, and we're just going to go underneath the lash line. We're going to take that combination of colors, and we're just going to try and mirror the upper and the lower lash line. So I'm going to begin with that gold. And we're gonna go in with that orange. And we're gonna go in with that brown. Just kind of tie that in together. Just like that, so that we have a mirror, basically, for the top and the bottom. And then for the mascara today, we're going to be using the Bad Gal. This one. I'm not a huge fan of the spoolie. I really don't like these stiff spoolies, but I do like this formula. This formula will give you lashes for days. If you don't have, like, length, for your lashes, this will bring them out to play. It's a very wet mascara, which I like. I like that kind of formula. So if you do have longer lashes, just make sure when you're applying that you're doing the thing I'm doing right now where you're looking down so it doesn't come back onto your lid and mess up all that work that you just did. If it does get onto your lid or it does land in a place that you didn't want it, leave it alone. Just let it dry completely and then you can just flake it off. But, you know, it's easier to try and avoid that in the first place by just using technique and just looking down. Come a little more over here. I gotta be careful because with this stuff, I sure will go overboard. Okay. I think we're done here. Yeah, we're done. It's enough kids. And then let's go with the top. I mean, let's look up at the top, but go with the bottom. I normally use my mirror, but I mean, I normally don't use my mirror, but today I wanted to be a little more concise and try not to poke my eye out for a change because I am dang good at that. All right, let's do the brows. My brows are tattooed, as most of you know, so I don't really need to fill them in. I don't fill them in often, I should say, but I do like to brush them, so at least they look nice and neat. 
because I will get some stray brow hairs out there doing their own thing every once in a while. That's better. And then for the lip, I had my, sh what's the other Chanel I had up here? Should I use a, one of these, an Yves Saint Laurent? How about one of these? This one is, I can't read it. This is one of these. Um, this is what the shade looks like. Just something neutralish. It's got that same kind of orange brown tone as the shadow. These are okay. They're kind of like a lip gloss, but I wouldn't really recommend buying them. I think there's better versions out there. Chanel, Dior, they just, to me, make a, a better lip. So this is the look, you guys. <laughs> I hope that you like it. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.